Joe Tegmeyer, who has been capturing and sharing um, drone footage of Gigafactory Texas construction over the last several years, recently captured video footage of a Tesla 4680 battery manufacturing equipment delivery, which is a great sign for the 4680 production ramp at Gigafactory Texas as Cybertruck production has begun. Let's discuss what can be seen in these equipment delivery images that Joe shared, as well as these images that Joe also shared, which give us a great look into the 4680 production area of the factory. I'm John, and this is Cleaner Watt. On July 14th, Joe Tegmeyer shared these images on Twitter, which show this equipment here, uh, covered in a blue tarp of sorts, being delivered to Tesla's Gigafactory in Texas. As Joe pointed out in this tweet and also in the video shared on his YouTube channel, this is indeed the 4680 production section of the factory. Thankfully, one of the images that Joe shared pretty much give us a very strong clue as to what equipment this is. And if you look closely here, it's kind of blurry, but if you look closely, this particular label appears to say Project Schuler Battery Press Line. This is something that at Gregor Truck on Twitter also pointed out that this equipment comes from Schuler based on that label. And at Gregor Truck tweeted out Schuler Battery Press Line Canisters. Now, if you go to the Schuler website, they manufacture quite a bit of equipment. And one of the pieces of equipment that they manufacture is designed to actually make the cans that are used in battery cells. They have machines that make both prismatic and cylindrical uh, battery cans. Schuler does have a quick overview video on their YouTube channel showing the basic process of manufacturing a battery cell can. And I will link to that in the video description below, but I also came across this article on electrive.com, which talked about another company that was going to be purchasing equipment from Schuler to manufacture 2170 batteries. And apparently the machine that that company ordered had the ability, according to this article, of producing 2000 cases per minute. So these are pretty high volume machines and of course are extremely important to Tesla manufacturing 4680 battery cells. This allows Tesla to turn, as this article describes, round blanks from nickel plated sheet into the battery cell cans through an automated process. Now, Gigafactory Texas is already producing 4680 battery cells. And as of January 25th of this year, which is the last update that we had this specifically mentioned, but as of January 25th of this year, Tesla only had one of the four initial 4680 battery lines at Giga Texas completed and operational. This was specifically mentioned by Drew Baglino in Tesla's Q4 2022 conference call. So it's good news that Tesla is bringing in more equipment because once again, I assume that's for these other three lines that as of January 25th, were not yet operational. Based on information from one of my sources, eventually each one of these 4680 battery production lines should have a capacity of up to 25 gigawatt hours per year for a total of 100 gigawatt hours of batteries being produced per year. And that's the initial capacity for these four lines. There may be more lines installed in the future, but that would be the initial capacity fully ramped. Now, when it comes to Tesla's 4680 battery production progress, on February 18th of 2022, the official Tesla Twitter account tweeted out, quote, celebrating our 1 millionth 4680 cell in January. With a picture here, we know that that was just at their Fremont pilot line. Then on December 25th of 2022, the official Tesla Twitter account once again tweeted out, quote, congrats to the 4680 cell team on achieving 868,000 cells built in the last seven days, equal to 1,000 plus cars. In this tweet, Tesla shared two images, one of their Fremont location and another of their Gigafactory Texas cell production area. So we know that this combination here, this 868,000 battery cells built in a seven day period, that was for both factories. So at least at that point, we know that 4680 battery production had begun at Gigafactory Texas. Then more recently, once again, from the official Tesla Twitter account, Tesla tweeted out, quote, produced our 10 millionth 4680 cell at Giga Texas this week. I'm assuming that Tesla meant that they built 10 million 4680 battery cells at Gigafactory Texas alone. 
That's what I'm assuming from this. But once again, to put this in perspective, 10,04680 battery cells is enough to build around 12,077 standard range all-wheel drive Model Ys. Or if the Cybertruck has a 150 kilowatt hour battery pack, that would build somewhere over 5,700 or so Cybertrucks. However, that's just the beginning of the production ramp because once again, eventually, Gigafactory Texas, with the four production lines, should be producing up to 100 gigawatt hours of batteries per year. Now, in addition to those images of 4680 equipment being delivered to Gigafactory Texas, Joe Tegmeyer also shared some images showing some great views into the cell production area of Gigafactory Texas. You can see just how much equipment is installed here on this front line, and it appears to be operational. And it looks like there are potentially four lines parallel to each other, here if you look across there. So this apparently is the four battery lines that Drew mentioned before. This third image is especially interesting because you can see here rolling racks filled with 4680 battery cells, or maybe these are battery cell cases. Um, but if they're completed battery cells, um, based on an automated process, I wouldn't expect them to be here on racks. So if you know what this might be, please comment below in the, um, in the comment section of the video. And when it comes to this last image, that appears to be the formation section of the battery manufacturing process. And as a reminder, before a battery cell is ready to be used in a vehicle, it must go through a formation process where the battery is charged at a very low current and discharged. And during this process, this forms the SEI layer on the anode of the battery, which is extremely important. During this process, the battery cell also apparently goes through various tests and is graded for performance to like an A grade cell or a B grade cell, etc. And as a general rule, from what I understand, only grade A, top grade uh, battery cells make it into EVs because EVs have very demanding and strict performance requirements. Now, when it comes to Tesla's formation process, at Battery Day, when discussing the various improvements Tesla was making to battery cell manufacturing, roughly a minute was devoted to discussing their drastically improved formation process, which made this process appear somewhat insignificant. However, Drew Baglino did point out at that event that, quote, in a typical cell factory, formation is about 25% of the investment. So while the battery formation process may seem insignificant, it's actually an important part of the price of manufacturing a battery. And this slide was put up at battery day with a picture of Tesla's formation system. And this slide indicates that Tesla's process, Tesla's new formation process, leads to an 86% formation investment reduction, and it takes up 75% less space than before. Now this picture of the formation equipment does look a little bit different than the images that Tesla shared at Battery Day um, for their pilot facility. And so it does look a little different there. And so I don't know if it is exactly the same, but nonetheless, I assume it's more efficient than traditional processes. So once again, to wrap all this up, the Cybertruck is going to need quite a few batteries um, and Tesla is going to really have to ramp up production of 4680 batteries to meet the demand because there's a lot of demand for the Cybertruck. As long as Tesla can keep it affordable, um, they'll be able to sell all that they can build for years to come because they have well over a million reservations for that vehicle. A lot of people are ready to buy the Cybertruck. Now, once again, Elon Musk made it very clear that in 2023, they don't expect to build that many Cybertrucks, but 2024 is supposed to be the year when Tesla will really ramp up production of the Cybertruck. Hopefully, Tesla is aiming for all four lines at Gigafactory Texas to be operational in 2024 and to be quite ramped up so that once again, Tesla can produce enough 4680 batteries to produce as many Cybertrucks as they can. I'm hoping that if that's the case, 4680 battery production will not be something that holds back Cybertruck production because obviously, once again, it's important to Tesla's future and I believe it's an important vehicle for the market. Do let me know what you think about all this in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you. And also, I'd like to say once again, thank you to all of those of you who support me through Patreon. Your support makes a big difference and really does help make these videos possible. If you'd like to find out more about how you can support my work through Patreon, I will put a link in the video description. Thank you so much.